Hello, welcome to Maths with Jay. So we've got a linear congruence and we want to show that it's got no solutions. So what does it actually mean when we say that 6x is congruent to 3 modulo 10? Well, if we want to write this as an equals, what it actually means is that 6x is the same as 3 plus or minus a multiple of 10. So what we could do is just add on 10 times an integer k, and then we've got 6x is the same as 3 plus 10k. And if we take the 10k away from both sides, then we've got 6x minus 10k is equal to 3. So our left-hand side has a common factor, a factor of 2, So we can see that the left hand side is divisible by 2. Now 3x and 5k are both integers because x and k are both integers. So in other words, what we've got in brackets must be an integer. So we've got 2 times a whole number is equal to 3, which is impossible. Because 3 isn't an even number, this cannot be. Therefore, our linear congruence to start with is wrong. Therefore, we cannot solve the linear congruence. There is no value for x that will satisfy 6x is congruent to 3 mod 10. In fact, it's because 6 and 10 have a common factor and 3 is not divisible by that common factor. So because 6 and 10 are even numbers and 3 isn't, this linear congruence has no solutions.